Um, Don Carter. Uh, Don Carter is the uh, new director of the Remaking Cities and the Institute here at uh, Carnegie Mellon uh, University at the uh, School of Architecture, I think, as Chris now mentioned. Um, but prior to that, he has a massive amount of real world experience. He's a consulting principal, former president of Urban Design Associates, um, expert in a variety of uh, relevant um, issues, including uh, neighborhood re revitalization, um, mixed income housing, new urbanism, smart growth, sustainable development, and so on. Um, and uh, he is a Carnegie Mellon graduate, undergraduate from our School of Architecture. Uh, as is our next panelist, Don Smith. Um, Don um, actually earned his uh, PhD right here at the uh, Heinz College. After that, he went to work for a short time with Rand. He came back here when act was actually a, a key player in the, in the former reincarnation of the uh, Center for Economic Development, uh, where he worked on, on research and on practical applications. Um, he was doing a great job here, so the university immediately snapped him up to coordinate activities for the university, and then, and then actually did somehow that job for both Carnegie Mellon and Pitt. Uh, for, for a really long time, I actually had no idea how you managed to stick with that. Um, <laughs> finally, though, um, he moved on to uh, a head of his own organization, which is uh, a, a group that's been around for a very long time doing um, important work here in Pittsburgh. This is the Regional Industrial Development Corporation, the RIDC. Who do I have left down there? Um, Jim? Jim? Yep, okay, so uh, um, uh, we'll, you'll, you'll go last. I think David uh, Ruppersberger actually uh, got put, held up in, in Harrisburg, so. Um, so, so uh, uh, Jim is our, our last um, uh, uh, panelist. He's a vice president, chief investment officer for the Pittsburgh Life Sciences Greenhouse. Um, this is this is a neat organization. This is a public-private partnership for promoting growth in the region's um, life sciences industries. Um, and and before that, he's he's done lots of executive work. Um, at, you know, so that Fortune 20 level um, and and uh, expert in, in marketing development, getting successful formations of entrepreneurial startups. All right, so this is, a, this is an awesome group, and, and again, we appreciate your joining us. So I, I'm going to lob a, a, a kind of a softball question here. Um, uh, I'm, I'm guessing almost everybody likes talking about what they do. Uh, so, so what do you do? I mean, what's your, what's your organization, and how do you contribute to this sort of broad goal of economic development? And, and you can just start with Rob and work our way down. Sure. I'm a, I'm a, can you hear me? Um, I'm a dancer. Um, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a dancer. I'm not a dancer. Uh, I work for the Urban Redevelopment Authority. Um, uh, we're an economic development entity for the city of Pittsburgh. We work in partnership with uh, uh, Dennis's organization, who's countywide. Um, we sort of divvy up responsibilities as it relates to what happens inside the city versus outside and or those things that have what I would call regional importance we work on collectively and together. Uh, we do that by, at least the Urban Redevelopment Authority, we're very similar, so this is going to sound somewhat repetitive. Um, we do that by both sophisticated housing redevelopment efforts, economic development efforts, um, and have a whole host of other kind of supportive mechanisms uh, in which to pull projects off and support developers to do so as well. Uh, we have internally uh, uh, two development arms, groups that actually actively do housing and or economic development, but for the most part, I would say the um, premium part of our portfolio is in assisting private development and assisting the market in um, doing the kind of things that, that, that the market can do. So. Uh, a lot of uh, real estate site control, uh, a lot of uh, creative financing mechanisms, secondary secondary debt uh, grant financing, and the, the creation rebuilding of uh, key infrastructure that allows for that allows for really for the economic development professionals to um, uh, to bring jobs and and a tax base back back to the city. Um, have a couple of key uh, I'll, I'll call them overriding principles that we're working on, one of which is really to try to work throughout the city's core to find places where market stability meets instability, those edges and seams in the marketplace where the right kind of public-private intervention will have the biggest uh, biggest returns on investments for both the developer's bottom line, if not the city's um, economic development. East Liberty is a good case in point, but uh, they are these, these 
uh, small seams between uh, where where markets begin and end are all over this all over this place. Uh, there are partnerships with folks like River Life and uh, Pittsburgh Partnership for Neighborhood Development uh, are, are very helpful in finding out where where those where those edge conditions exist. Um, uh, probably most exciting as of late is really these these rivers and the untapped potential. I would say along the rivers, and, and I'll let I'll let uh, I'll let Lisa Lisa handle that. So um, uh, uh, I guess with that I will pass. It. Are you going to ask the question on that one? Okay. Then what is it that you do? Yeah, exactly. Do you remember the question? I don't think so. Very good, Ross. <clears throat> I see him dancing. He's no dancing. He's right. <laughs> um, we are uh, at, at, at Allegheny County Economic Development. Uh, do a lot of what, what we want to talk about. I think uh, our focus has really been on, you know, a lot, a lot of economic development agencies will tell you that they create jobs, and, and that is entirely false unless they actually hire somebody, <laughs> which you might, uh, you know, be interested in. But uh, we, what we do is we really create the environment to create jobs. And that's what our main goal is. You know, working with the private sector uh, and other public sector organizations. But the focus that we have in, in the county uh, is really on four main core areas. One is developing the airport. We have an airport that's consistently been ranked in the top five airports, not only in the country, but also in the world. We also have about 12,000 acres surrounding that airport that uh, uh, a variety of companies would kill to have access to and, and, and develop uh, uh, operations within those areas because they would have direct access to the airport. And also there's, a, there's just a terrific uh, highway infrastructure around there. So we're actively developing those acreages because the issue is that with all that acreage and around a world-class airport, there's no infrastructure, but there was no infrastructure. So we currently have about 2,000 acres now that are in play that have the necessary infrastructure related to them. Uh, we have about uh, three or four hundred of those acres right now under development, uh, meaning that buildings are being built on those particular sites. Flop Bank is maybe one that you, you've heard of, which is a German manufacturer of solar mirrors. Uh, they're actually a German company manufacturing solar mirrors in Pittsburgh and exporting them to Spain. It's a good story. We created about 400 uh, steelworker jobs, so it's, a, so it's the type of thing that we try to do. Uh, so that's the airport. Uh, secondly, we're doing, we're doing the Allegheny County, outside of uh, the city of Pittsburgh in Allegheny County, is developing brothel sites. And as many brothel sites as we can, whether it's in the Allegheny River, the Ohio River, or the Miami Hale River. A lot of the attention has been paid towards uh, the city, and, and the terrific job that the city has done uh, with, re with respect to the front development. And we're really up for it. Uh, and it has just done a great job with Southside Works. Uh, with uh, the North Shore and also with uh, 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 Washington's Landing. And we're trying to mimic that outside of the city and have some pretty good success. Uh, currently, we have a development in, uh, on the Allegheny River that will probably be the premier housing development in the former steel mill that on uh, uh, RIDC uh, um, at one point in time. So we're putting a big focus on developing our river funds. Uh, thirdly, we're, we're developing and putting a big push on helping companies that are here right now in Allegheny County uh, continue to thrive and grow. Uh, what we found out is that a lot of economic development policies have really been based upon uh, what, what terms loosely the, the smokestack chasing, but it's defined as going after other cities and other, other, other states and going after their opportunities and their uh, industries to try to bring them here. We don't want to do that because we have tremendous uh, industries here corporations here that have an opportunity to grow not only here, not only outside of the state, but anywhere in the world. And what our job is, our job is to convince them to grow right here in, in Allegheny County. Uh, we've had some pretty good success uh, in, in doing that. Um, and, and fourth, what we try to do is really develop and, and help the technology sector as much as we can. You know, by providing loan straight loans, grants, uh, pass-throughs of state grants to, to these organizations because this is really what the future, we think, is based upon. Uh, we have a great relationship with CMU, Pitt, UPMC, and we're looking at a number of startups and smaller companies and helping them uh, to develop. So uh, our job really, you know, we have a tagline we call it coordinating success, and that's really what we see our, our role as, providing funding, support uh, to help companies uh, grow and to help companies create jobs. 